The first thing I'm going to do with my installation is make a desktop icon. This run GDL batch file, I'm going to say send to desktop, create a shortcut. Now MetaX Slime starts our slime development environment. Get into the Emacs tutorial for a few minutes. So the first thing we learn is control X, control C is to exit Emacs. If you try to exit here it says active processes exist, kill them and exit anyway. Normally I would say no and instead you can type meta X slime quit lisp. It'll control X, control C and exit the environment. Slime again, maximize increase the font size a little bit and go to the tutorial. And the other important command they talk about right at the beginning is this control G. So control G will always cancel whatever command you've started if you're not sure of what you're doing or you want to stop the command that you're doing. Now type control V or page down if it views the next screen. And notice control V views the next screen, meta V moves back. Now control L moves the cursor to the middle of the screen along with the text. Again, it moves it to the top and now to the bottom. So that's handy. Centering the text where the cursor is in the middle of the screen. Now basic cursor control. First of all, you can use the mouse to click and put the point wherever you want. Or you can use the arrow keys. Or you can use control P for previous line. Control N for next line, Control F to go forward, and Control B to go backward. Meta F, it moves entire words at a time. That can be very efficient. Or Meta B moves backwards by entire words at a time. Control A goes to the beginning of the line, Control E to the end of the line. And finally, Meta less than, Meta shift, and the less than on top of the comma goes all the way to the top of the buffer. Meta greater than goes all the way to the bottom of the buffer. Most Emacs commands take a numeric prefix. So I can say control U and say the number eight and then control F it moves forward eight. This is handy if you know you want to get to character position say 15,000 in the file. You go to the beginning and then control U type 15,000 and then control F now I'm on character position 15,000. If Emacs stops responding to your commands, always use control G to cancel, to quit whatever command it's doing. Now Windows, this is very important. Very often you will split the window in Emacs. Now they are not overlapping windows like you're used to in a windowing system. But we can do this with the file menu. We split, split window, control X2 splits the window this way and remove splits that takes it out again. You'll find that it's faster of course to do it with the keyboard so control X2 gives you two windows although you can click in, in each window with the mouse to move the cursor back and forth from one window to another control X0 jumps to the other window you can remember O stands for other window. Control X1 brings you to one window again. Whichever window the cursor is in will become the only window. Other handy commands for splitting the window. Control X3 splits the window vertically, especially these days when many people have the wide aspect displays. The vertical splitting is handy. But then the same thing, Control X1 brings us back to one window. If we split again, let's say we want to close the window that we are in now and leave the other window as the only window. Control X0 does that one. Now to insert text, you just type the text. To delete, Control D deletes a single character. Meta D deletes a whole word. And Control K kills the line from where you are to the end of the line. If you make a change and then decide that it was a mistake, you can undo the change with the undo command, which is control X U. So I'll kill a bunch of lines here, and I decide those were all mistakes. So now control X U, and I repeat control X U, control X U. 
and we'll pick up with files next.